Hello, everyone. This is the ladies' circle, golden ladies' circle. And uh, I feel it should be happening at 11 o'clock. But I understand for many women it's, uh, it's uh, difficult to actually join at this hour. But somehow this hour is uh, a decisive one in these days, weeks. It is how I feel, it is how I've been guided. <clears throat> but, um, and I actually heard some other people on YouTube talking about that. So I really feel, you know, no matter how unusual it is, this is the right time together. So today, nobody joined me. So I'll be speaking on the topics that I was guided to open today. And you can just watch it anytime and anywhere. So my point number one on uh, the intentions of today's golden circle was radical juiciness. It is some topic uh, which came through my uh, dear friend and uh, because we sometimes uh, talk via sound messages, you know, and I usually, when I decide to talk to people, it is the time when I feel very nice and full and, and maybe juicy. And I just feel like, okay, this is what I want to share. While, of course, when we don't feel good, when we don't feel full, when we are fueling, refueling, uh, resting, it is the time when we prefer to be alone. And so when we share with others, usually we would share from the highest vibration possible. And then, yeah, there, there is different kind of sharing. Sometimes we also share pain with uh, our friends or with people we feel safe and secure with. And so today's topic was this radical juiciness and how to, you know, be in this vibration, how to be juicy, how to be, you know, alive so that you feel good about yourself and so that you also spread these good vibes around you. Because women and their juiciness it's one of the decisive moments, you know, which actually makes difference if uh, you are kind of attractive, interesting, inspiring for other people. Because <clears throat> you can uh, feel into the term drive. So I'm sure you can think of a few people who you would see as drive. And they certainly have gifts which they can share with others, but you would probably not prefer to spend so much time with them as you would with those who are a little humid, juicy, you know. So that would be the first topic. Then the next topic <clears throat> I wanted to open today was pain. Um, so as there is no circle, I suppose, it's about me sharing my pains. So my major pain in my life is the home seeking. And uh, it's no coincidence that uh, souls that have a purpose connected with, <clears throat> you know, other places than only the place where we were born, we kind of have this home seeking mission, you know, some part of our life or even, you know, all life long. And so I've had this because, you know, where I was born, I never felt good, you know, in a, city, in a city in general, but also in that city. And so I was searching and I was traveling and I was always traveling with that purpose to find a place where I would feel home, where I could stay, you know, for next year, five years, 50 years. And I actually found two places which fit me and which... I can imagine, you know, living at. And one of these places is Makarska Riviera, where I am now. And, you know, in some way it might be a compromise because like if I was alone, 
I would prefer to live in the mountains, far away from like everything and everyone. And, you know, just have a beautiful view and just be fully, you know, connected with the nature. But since I have a child, uh, then we also need the kind of, you know, things like school and, and other services which are necessary when you have a school aged child. And so, yeah, we have chosen Makarska Riviera because it fits us. It fits us because there's the sea. I love, you know, swimming and, uh, you know, I love the sea altogether. My son is not such a swimmer, but he loves, you know, communicating with the sea. He loves observing it and it's very important for him. And then the other place that I found like really interesting uh, for life or for staying longer is Sardinia which is very similar maybe to the place where I am now because there, it's also a place which is, you know, tourism oriented, but at the same time, it still offers a great amount of wild nature. And this is kind of the positive thing about, you know, this life mission and there is kind of no pain maybe in this, but uh, yeah, there is a lot of pain in that, that I have always tried to create it, to create a, uh, you know, stable home for myself but especially for my son and uh, it's been um, very dynamic we have moved many times and uh, and yes i would just prefer to anchor in one place and have that uh, place as a base but it's also true that if i managed to get that if this you know happened to me <clears throat> then uh I can imagine, you know, living a very isolated life. So if I had my, you know, self-sufficient garden and house and this view and all that, I would really kind of lose connection with, with um, the world as it is. Because like, you know, I, I'm fine just with myself, my son and, and the closest people I have. And uh, probably my mission uh, now is still a little different. So probably I still need to be, you know, dependent on, on other people, places, politics and all that. Because if you rent a place, then you are much more, of course, uh, dependent on other people and the system. So this is my pain. I wouldn't go into details, but like it's been, you know, painful. It's been a painful process searching for the home. Now I know the place, but of course, it's not so easy to manifest it, you know, to, to financially and yeah, financially, this is clearly the main problem to, to get a home, you know, being a self-sufficient mother. So that's my one pain. And the other pain is like connected with this. This is my favorite painting by Gustav Klimt. It's called Kiss. And this is how I perceive love. And uh, For past six years, I love a man who is not fully available to me. He is not fully committed to me. He is not ready for our relationship. And uh, so that's the other pain that I have. And uh, there are nice moments when I understand why it is like that, you know? For example, I understand that um, definitely at the beginning, you know, when we met, um, I was really a little girl, you know, I had no understanding of femininity, uh, you know, the, the, the real role of a woman, the understanding of uh, sisterhood. So there are so many topics which uh, I understood much better throughout the time that I was given uh, for self-development without him, you know, without the daily relationship with a man. And um, so looking back, I do understand that we couldn't be together fully because there were still so many lessons I had to learn because I don't know how it is for other women, but for me, when there is the man in the space, it is still very hard for me to keep focus on myself, on my goals, on my mission. And... Uh, I'm really not an ego-based person, so I'm a heart-based person, very much so. So, you know, to, to 
you know, keeping my ego in the positive sense for me is difficult when there is another person. So I, I suppose I'm given this um, time still without him um, because I need to get ready, you know, I need to get ready. But I would like to hope that I'm close. And uh, yeah, the third topic, the third pain, it is about, you know, having the freedom of expression. So we kind of live in a democratic society, or at least these are the official <clears throat> uh, names for the systems that we live in. But um, yeah, I had, I experienced, you know, being uh, judged, blamed um, for who I am and what I say and what I express. And uh, there is this platform which has blue color and I've been censored a lot, especially when I had the intention to open a private school. So when I was talking about education, I wouldn't be allowed to share my content. It occasionally still happens with some environmental issues. And uh, yeah, my topics are really, you know, transformation of environmental issues for better. I really believe that we are now in time and space, which allows to return a lot of the original harmony of this planet. And yes, we should actively do that, you know, so that the planet is alive. Because when the planet is alive and we have all the resources, like water, air, and all of that correct, when we have it clean, when we have it, you know, healthy, well, then we can have a real wealth you know this is the real wealth if we have unlimited amount of fresh air if we have unlimited amount of alive water and you know if we can plant our vegetables and fruits in healthy soil what else really matters you know and i think thanks to this corona there's more and more people who understand that because like maybe before they they were so busy doing other things and so they would not appreciate these basic needs that we have you know and how we can actually really fulfill them uh to some full health satisfaction and uh yes my third um topic is like soul's purpose an alignment with uh, our soul's purpose and acting you know in alignment with divine essence because like when i when i live or when i talk with people when i um you know interact i have this let's say higher perspective of things i'm able to see some layers which people are not aware of and um, so i think yes i can help people you know activate um the awareness of uh the soul's purpose and to help them align with that and all of these topics um yeah i still i still feel remains of the fear for fully you know expressing what it is that i am able to do and um, yeah so i would like to you know release all of those fears finally Mm -hmm. And it's important, you know, if some of your pains is um, 
also in a relationship with a man not to escape from any of those pains and i had some process past few days and i just realized you know i am ready you know and i understand like you know some past experiences which were very painful um and sometimes i gave up i went away i went to search for a more comfortable way uh, easier way um and this time i just decided i will face it all you know i will just carry all that pain i'm ready for that and uh, yes so with pain comes strength and strength is one of the basic feature of women we are very strong you know and the last point i would like to mention is really uniting the dark and light inside us because for a lot of the time as i'm really a heart-based person i would see myself as an angel which i believe i am i can you know do this for many people and uh, i would not be aware and actively use the dark inside me but you know inside our body there is dark inside our body is dark and so if we want to really be fully inside the body we are not only light okay so we can you know share our love but having united both light and dark inside us just accepting the full body as it is because the body inside is dark <laughs> so that would be it from me and um, i wish you strength and i bless your alignment with your soul's purpose check my website if you feel like that www.tikaskapa.com and every tuesday at 11 o'clock i'm online so you can just join me and we can talk we can share we can shift we can advance we can just update each other on what's going on and i'll be very happy to hear you and to see you here on zoom just let me know i'll send you a link and the password bye bye